Hey guys, it's Becky. I am back with Mini Kit Monday, April 2019. This is layout number four. It will be the final layout for this month. Now, when I am doing this video, I am actually chatting with the Mini Kit Monday ladies via Facebook Messenger. So there is a lot of transitions in here because I am talking to them and I am using my hands doing it. You can see I am using a sketch. It's up in the top right hand corner. Um, I keep this one really simple. This paper that I use as my background, it is a cocoa vanilla, which I think most everything in my kit this month was, and it is gorgeous. And it says sunset to me. So I am going to be using these photos right here. These are photos I had taken from the plane when Jim and I had went on a trip and the sun was setting in the sky. I will title this said sunset in the sky. I do stick pretty close to the sketch, kind of. As you can see, the sketch just has one big photo and I am using two separate photos, but it's pretty close. I do flip it in that piece that's on the bottom, I will put at the top of my page. I wanna take a moment here to remind you to go check out um, Tracy, Kathy, Dolly, Daisy, Leslie, and Shannon, and also our Facebook group for our challenges. I will have them all linked down below. I also want to remind you, I know I said this in my last Mini Kit Monday video, but I want to remind you that for our challenge in May to be considered for the giveaway, you must post your projects and your kit share in the album that will say, it'll say something like, mini kit monday share album or it might just say share album may 2019 something like that that will make it easier for us to track the way we are initially tracking it, it has not worked out super well there's a lot of manual pieces that we have to keep track of on our own so you know it's a live and you learn thing the more you go along you find a more efficient way to do it so that's why we're going to go ahead and try it out in may so i want to make sure that you do that you can see right here i have one of these sewing marking tools and janet at rts had mentioned doing this many months ago maybe even last year and you take your little wheel and you dip it in your ink and you use that as faux stitching. I did that a lot of places on this page. You can see right here I am putting some foam tape down. I am going to use this frame and I didn't cut it. I just went ahead and used the entire frame. I am putting some foam tape down so that my photo will be lifted up on top of that frame. On the other photo, I'm going to use a frame there as well to kind of come out of the side. And I'm also going to be using some foam tape for that. Now you can see I'm doing a lot of the hand talking and I'm really sorry for that. Next time we do one of those scrap and chats with the ladies, I'm going to have to make sure I back my body out of the frame if we are talking and I'm videoing at the same time. I do apologize for that. So here I'm going to go ahead and make a few more marks. I will make them at the bottom of the page. Now they don't, they aren't super clear down here on the blue, but I will also mark it on that frame as well. You, I don't know if you can really see that so good on camera, but there are some close up shots at the end where you might be able to see it. It is a really cool effect. I'm going to have to admit. So thank you, Janet, for telling us about that because that is really, really neat. Now to embellish this, page I am going to use another frame up here at the top and I will use flowers and butterflies butterflies have nothing to do with the sunset in the sky other than they fly like a plane this is just what was in my kit I really 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 wanted to use this background paper for these photos I think it worked really well but the embellishments I had in here are you know they were a lot of flowers and a lot of butterflies so that is what I end up using. I do like it. I think it's really pretty and I think that background paper just makes the whole thing. I also really love those photos though. Those photos were really, really great. I am going to also use a flare button. It is also a butterfly. I will put it over on the left hand side of that photo. I will also pull out um, the flowers here in a minute right here in this little dish this is my title these are those chipboard letters that had the weird looking 
top coat to them like zebra striped and just weird stuff that I would never use. I peeled off the top layer and then I turned them blue using that Chip Sapphire Distress ink and that's how I went ahead and made my title. They are just some chipboard alpha letters and it says sunset in the sky. Here's where I go ahead and add flowers to my clusters. That one at the top right, I'm going to move that to the inside of the frame here in a minute. I don't really do anything else to this layout other than the bits you already see on here. I will end up taking out the shimmers. It's kind of a navy blue color. I think it's called Chance of Rain. I will take that out and do some splatters. This is super basic, super pretty. I just love this one. It was really quick and easy. Well, it would have been if I wasn't chatting so much. It was really quick and easy to do, and I really love how it came out. And I will tell you, that background paper just it totally makes the page. Even though a lot of times you want, not a lot of times, most of the time, I guess, you probably want your um, photos to kind of be the star. They are nice photos, but that background paper, man, it is gorgeous. I think this is my last piece of it, so hmm, that's okay. I got to use, on one side is a marbled piece, which I used on my last one my last layout for mini kit monday and then i did get to use this one so that was good here i'm going to go ahead and do some finishing touches with that same roller wheel this is what you mark patterns with or you'll mark your fabric with um and i'm just putting it in that chip sapphire and running it across the page in several different spots just to get some faux stitching in that was a good tip i already said that now here's where i go ahead and pull out the shimmers and i'm going to give that a good splutter around the page now guys don't forget to go check out um tracy kathy dolly daisy leslie and shannon again i will have them all linked down below also check out the Facebook group if you do want to participate particularly in the month of May make sure you follow the rules Dolly will be posting some up there for the May challenge so make sure you follow those rules so that we can easily track what you are entering in April it's fine I've been manually tracking it so I got everyone don't worry about that I did I have I've gotten everybody I want to thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.